Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? So the new chain battle mode is live now on Dokkan Battle JP. So, you know, we've gotten all sorts of information leading up to this, but now it is officially live. So let's run through this and see what kind of setting this new battle mode is. It's, again, like I've been saying, it's similar to a combination of, you know, the traditional uh, battlefield that it currently is versus the first very first season of battlefield. It's almost like a combination of the both. Uh, in terms of the category advantages for this particular one, it's the Super Saiyan, Siblings Bond, and also the Kamehameha category. So of course, uh, bringing in units that fall into those settings are going to provide the most uh, advantageous settings. Again, this is basically my very first run, so I'm still trying to basically figure things out and just kind of you know, learn as as uh, as time goes on, and of course, you know, the the more time progresses, obviously, we're gonna know more about it, and we're actually gonna be uh, much more efficient, I guess, in, in how we go about, you know, going about this battle. So, I kind of recorded this earlier uh, in terms of like the actual footage, and right now I'm loaded up on coffee in the morning and providing the commentary or or layering over the uh, commentary after the fact. So. Uh, the enemy is going to be the uh, Broly unit, so of course you want to bring in some of the super type units that have you know, all sorts of links within those categories, but also link sets that do, uh, you know, that are shared amongst you know, each of the individual units, uh, because you do have that added uh, segment of you know, supporters and connectors that are, that are in essence going to provide support to the actual battle card unit. Uh, in this case, it's, it's really just about trying to figure out which units to uh, to uh, include on the team, so um, I, I did spend some time trying to figure out, you know, which which of the right units would be uh, the right ones to include. Of course, the family Kamehameha units like Goku, Gohan, and Goten are obviously pretty good to uh, link up with the LR Gohan and Goten as well. But you know, from the uh, um, selection process of the extreme settings, you know, of course. Uh, there are a few that fall into like you know the Kamehameha category and stuff like that. So a, a lot of the cell units ended up being selected for this. And again, this is the very first run. So in order to uh, really optimize, you, you kind of have to play around with it and figure it out. So um, at this point, I was basically just kind of you know trying all sorts of stuff and, and seeing what would work and just kind of uh, giving it a first try. So. You know, this isn't going to be perfect by any means. Um, again, it's a, it's a very first try at it, so, um, you know, still trying to figure things out. So right now, what, what's happening right now is I'm basically trying to figure out uh, what category units to run, and, and uh, not just from uh, the category selection, but also the types of, you know, link skills and uh, whatnot that are shared amongst the, uh, the units, at least within the extreme setting. But... You know, come to find out because they are highlighted in blue which you know provide a uh, boost on the actual event uh, you do kind of have to go back to that whole Kamehameha siblings bond and uh, Super Saiyan setup so it's just a matter of picking out units that fall into into those criteria and then just figuring out uh, uh, an overall team that works best in terms of you know selecting units that that work well together as a, as a team overall so you know, with that being said, I know I know things are a little bit uh, slow in progression here, but you know, picking out your team is is pretty important too. So now we got that set up, we can actually get started with the actual event. All right, <clears throat> I got my load of cup of coffee, and uh, yeah, let's keep going and talk about this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that came out along with this. There is that. Um, you do get all those items that you can summon on for the all those potential level uh, skill orbs, and um, you know it's it's going to be really nice to have a lot of abundance, hopefully, in terms of like um, you know options in terms of what to assign certain units with the uh, uh, skill orbs. So I, I will be doing a video where I'll just pretty much summon all the available uh, gems or items that uh, you can summon on for the uh, treasure boxes, and we'll see what happens with the uh, luck factor with that. So again, this is the uh, section where you're actually picking out uh, the team itself. In this case, I am going to go with the Elar Gohan and Goten as the battle character because uh, they're one of the strongest units. I, I was on the fence whether to go with them or pick out the um, uh, Elar uh, 
agility, agility LR Gohan basically. Um, one of those two I figured would be uh, pretty good for that. Now in terms of like the super type and extreme type supporters, you do have to rely on your friends or guests. Um, you know, I, I prefer to pick out friends. Uh, that way, you know, you can um, actually build up, I think, points or at least send out, you know, the nice comments or whatever. You do get like a mission reward out of that too. So um, that, that's, you know, definitely important to do. I think in terms of like the connector, I really went with a unit that relatively linked up pretty well with the uh, battle character unit, which is, of course, LR Gohan and Goten here. So I think any of the uh, family Kamehameha units would work, uh, along with maybe, like, the other thing I was thinking was, you know, if uh, supporting type units with their passes, if, if that even, you know, is a factor here, or is it simply just based on categories shared and uh, link sets shared. So, you know, a lot of it's uh, dependent on that. Um, yeah, it, it's really uh, a guessing game at this point. So of course you have to focus on the chain power from both the super type and extreme type setting. Uh, you do want to get the gauge uh, full as much as you can. If you can't get it completely full, you know, try to get it uh, close to uh, completely filled up as you can. So uh, now we have all the uh, support. It's just kind of weird seeing all those cell units show up, but it's, it's <laughs> this really does remind me of the very first season of the battlefield. Okay, and then you have to three. Uh, you have to pick three units that do share categories, uh, typings, and links based on uh, that criteria. You're going to get a further boost. So, you know, this is kind of like uh, I was a little bit slow selecting here. You know, obviously this is the very first run, but uh, either way, it's um, you know you, you do want to pick three units that have uh, you know categories, typings, and uh, links that are shared amongst the uh, the battle characters. So. We were able to get full power here, so let's actually see what kind of damage we're implying. So, what is that? 100, 400, 5,000 roughly? Uh, that's not, I mean, that's not too bad. Very first try, 105,000. That's, that's certainly, uh, <clears throat> that's certainly reasonable, I think. And this is a little bit later in the morning than, um, than normal, so I'm guessing a fair amount of players were uh, already trying this out, especially on the JP side, considering it's the evening right now. But uh, you know, right off the bat, you do get a lot of rewards out of this, so uh, definitely, definitely nice right there. Uh, let's see where I ended up placing out. So four to five percentile, uh, not bad. You know, of course, you know one percent, top one percent is definitely where you want to aim for. But uh, again, you know, this is the very beginning. We're still figuring things out, so I think four to five percent is acceptable. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going and um, just try out different, you know, setups and uh, different connectors and supporters and, you know, see what kind of overall, uh, you know, damage we can apply here. So I'm looking through here and I'm trying to figure out which unit that I actually want to pick for uh, the uh, connector. See, I was gonna go with the agility uh, family Kamehameha Gohan, and looking back on it in hindsight, it might have helped uh, doing that over the LR Gohan unit, but. Again, you know, we're, we're still trying to figure things out, so it's it's all about, um, you know, trial or error, uh, hit or miss, you know, just figuring things out, really, so. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I actually like this new mode or not. Um, it's it's kind of like my reservations are a little bit, I'm reserving my judgment, basically, um, at this point, uh, just trying to to really gauge what, what this mode is all about. Of course, like, with, the, with each passing time, you're gonna have uh, different, um, you know, enemies and stuff like that. So other categories and, and uh, links are going to be important. But uh, at this point, I think they made it relatively easy enough to where you can you can definitely build uh, pretty decent uh, setups with it. Of, of course, you know, very first mode, and you make it overly difficult. It's going to turn a lot of people off. So uh, with that being said, I think you know they kind of dialed down the uh, difficulty level a little bit, maybe. Um, which you know, which is fine. Uh, I, I think that's how it's meant to be started out anyway as, as we You know start trying this out the one thing I did notice after recording all this is I kept forgetting to send the uh, the nice out to uh, the friends and whoever that I ended up using their team setup so like uh, That's one thing uh, do keep in mind You definitely want to do that as you saw like, you know, maybe 15 seconds ago You do have the option to do that. So, you know, I definitely would do that um, if, if, if you know you still have these um, available and the thing about this is like the the meters on the uh, the the game mode itself, you know, it's ha it's got like a total of five bars uh, or whatever you call it. 
um, it does refresh every three hours, so like you can you can keep going at it. I believe every time it refreshes. So I don't think there's necessarily like an absolute limit. Probably maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure at this point. Still trying to figure things out. Okay, so uh, I don't know what number this is. Maybe number three. So of course we got a couple of the family Kamehameha units. So. Uh, probably ideal to pick one of them since um, you know you do have the uh, red highlights as well as the blue highlights that does indicate that a lot is being shared amongst the uh, uh, the units uh, with the battle characters so it's definitely ideal to go about it that way Ag again you know it's, it's ultimately I, I think you know as more time progresses we'll have more of a strategy and, and guidance on how to go about it you know this is the very first day since it's uh, been released and and let alone a few hours so you know of course the data is still being compiled at this point and people are still trying to figure out uh, how to go about all this so um, with that being said you know it's, it's still very very preliminary in the process you know it's, it's still early in the uh, the release time so you know as more time progresses we'll figure things out So one of the things I did notice and I don't know if it's because of the team build setup but I, I've noticed like the uh, total damage applied does continuously decrease um, from the very beginning. I don't know if it's set up that way or it's basically the way I'm setting up uh, the the teams are you know not not ideal. But uh, that's another thing that um, definitely has to be figured out. You know, so it's it's you know it's all new stuff and and for this one you know the very first try it's 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 a matter of just you know uh, going through each of these and. And figuring out what works and what doesn't, uh, you know, just, just again, it's ultimately trial and, and error. That's really what it comes down to. So, um, you know, kind of like the EZAs, Extreme Z Battles, when they first came out, it was like that. Battlefield, I don't know if you guys remember, but when Battlefield was first introduced, nobody knew what the hell they were doing. Uh, it was just throwing units out on the field and just, you know, praying it works. <laughs> That's really what it came down to. And, like... Uh, the very first season had a limit of like 100 total units you could include and um, you have to reserve a certain amount because by the point of the the staged boss you do have to have like good units but uh, because you know you continuously uh, decrease the amount of available units every battle or every stage um, you, you basically have to like figure out how many units you can throw on the field versus how many you have to keep in reserve otherwise you're not even going to make it past you know, stage 10 or whatever so that was basically the very first season of battlefield it had like three rows where you threw in units uh to basically fight off the enemies that were coming it's like what was it uh uh what was those uh, traditional game styles it's like uh taking over each towers you know each other's towers and battling it out you know similar kind of game mode in that essence but um, this is probably a little bit more optimized than than that was of course when battlefield was was first introduced I mean it was a completely new concept completely different from you know anything we saw in the game at that point so you know of course mishaps will happen but I think continuously over time they've, they've uh, really refined the process and they're bringing back some of the older elements and, and applying it to you know the new modes so I think it's a good option ultimately to have this um, the only one thing I worry about is it's probably <laughs> The better your deck, the more advantageous it is to uh, place, you know, higher in the ranks. Um, but with that being said, I mean, the world tournament setting is a similar way. I mean, if you're a whale of the game, uh, you're going to be at, a, at a, an advantage because you have all of the you know, optimized units available to, to run through it as fast as possible as, as uh, you know, as, as clear cut and dry it is. So, um, you know, there's definitely uh, advantages of you know players that have been either around longer or they just have uh, better resources to acquire a lot more units so you know that's pretty much how you know i would say this this whole process is but i, I think you know it's it's fine i don't personally have an issue with it i think it's just a matter of figuring things out and you know going about it uh you know week by week day by day and, and trying out different setups and you know seeing how it all does but uh, with that being said, you know, it's 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 a new option, new game mode for us as players, and I think, you know, ultimately that's not it's not a bad thing.
So in this case, I was struggling to uh, bring in uh, a connector that uh, would fill up the gauge here. So the problem I ran into, I think, is some of the units uh, aren't awakened. So um, didn't really think about that at the time. So you know, it was just like, uh, so what do I do here? Because I want to go into the battle at least with a full gauge, you know, and, and that was a problem here. So. <laughs> Again, you kind of learn as, as time progresses, um, and that's one of the takeaways. You know, I should have kind of kept uh, kept tabs on was you know uh, reverse still kind of waken some of the units uh, before going into this. So uh, that's probably another important memo item. Um, if you do go into this, uh, definitely make sure to you know reverse still kind of waken some of the units that you might end up using. All right, so I believe this is the fifth try, so fifth battle, so this should be the very last one. We'll just see how things go here and, and kind of, you know, see how it all plays out. All right, so definitely a lot less, 62.6 million roughly, so uh, cumulative speaking about 465 uh, not bad I think the biggest um, you know mission reward requirement was like 1.5 billion total throughout the period and obviously this is going on for a week I believe so um, depending on you know how you go about it you should be able to complete those like right now like most of these are completed at, outside of like the uh, cumulative uh, stuff so I think the very last thing I want to check is probably the actual uh, available item section so we'll go ahead and grab all these guys and see what the uh, the total ended up being for the new item again you do get like potential orbs and elder kai's and dragon stones based off of completing certain missions um, for those that want a complete list I, I did compile a list in the video from yesterday so uh, I can certainly uh, put it in the pinned comment for you guys to, to be able to take a look at it <clears throat> alright so this is the uh, the treasure boxes with the skill orbs so um, I'll probably end up doing a separate summon video for this, but uh, there is a lot of good stuff in here. And right now we have about close to, you know, 3,000 available. But look at that, level fives are up there with the, you know, with the uh, with the golds, and I, I guess it goes down to silvers. But also the bronze levels, you can also get the, um, uh, you know, potential level increases toward, you know, additional attacks and criticals and evasion. I assume so. You know, a lot of good stuff comes with it. Uh, again, I'll do a separate video for this, but. This is uh, my very first run on the uh, chain battle mode, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.